Jesus, I got Jesus. When life's a mystery and peace is what I need, I got Jesus, I got Jesus. Everybody, everywhere, come on, come on, let me hear you sing. Everything's okay.
all because of you. You make me smile. You gave me a new heart. Gave me a new heart. You make me smile. It's all because of you. All because of you. All because of you. Boys and girls, and welcome to Sunday service. I am so, 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 so excited that you guys are here. We get to worship together and we get to learn about God together. I am so happy that each and every single one of you guys are joining this morning. Well, do you guys remember what we learned about last week? Let me give you guys a quick hint it has to do with food and water. Hmm. That's right, we learned about how Moses and the Israelites were in the wilderness and they were so hungry and they were so thirsty and so Moses asked God and God gave them food and God gave them water. We learned about how God provides. God gives us what we need. Well, in today's Bible story, it's after this happened, Moses and the Israelites, they set up a camp in front of a mountain called Mount Sinai. And Moses went up this mountain and he didn't come down for a long time. Like, a long time. He didn't come down for many days, even many weeks. Do you guys want to find out what happened to Moses up in this mountain? Yeah? Well, let's watch a quick video about it right now. Moses and the Israelites were in the wilderness. God had freed them from slavery in Egypt, and He helped them escape the angry Pharaoh and his army. 
The Israelites set up camp in front of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Moses went up the mountain and God talked to him. God had a lot to tell Moses, and Moses was up on the mountain for a long time. The Israelites at the bottom of the mountain were tired of waiting. Where is Moses? What is taking him so long? They wondered. The people went to talk to Aaron, Moses' brother. We need a God to lead us because we do not know what happened to Moses, they said. So Aaron used gold to make a statue of a calf for them to worship. God saw what the people were doing, and he was angry because of their sin. God told Moses to go down the mountain. Moses rushed down the mountain carrying two stone tablets that God had written on. He got closer to the camp and saw the people dancing in front of the gold calf. Moses threw down the stone tablets, smashing them at the bottom of the mountain. Then he destroyed the gold calf. What were you thinking? Moses asked his brother. The next day, Moses said, I will go up to the Lord. Maybe I can do something so God will forgive you. Then Moses went back up the mountain to talk to God. Please forgive these people, Moses said to God. God said, when it is time to punish them, I will punish them for their sin. God gave Moses more laws and instructions. God made two more stone tablets because Moses broke the first two. God said to Moses, the Lord cares about his people. He is good to them but he will punish the guilty. Moses bowed down and worshiped God. Lord, please go with us, he said. Forgive our sin and accept us as your people. So Moses went up the mountain to talk to God. And I guess they had a lot to talk about because Moses was up in that mountain for 40 days. And while Moses was up in the mountain for 40 days, the Israelites were waiting and waiting and waiting, and they got tired of waiting. So they told Aaron, Moses' brother, to find them a new God because they don't know where Moses went. And so Aaron made the Israelites a golden cow, just a statue of a golden cow. And the Israelites worshiped this statue instead of God. And God saw what the Israelites are doing. God saw that the Israelites are worshiping a golden cow statue instead of God, and God got really angry. And so God told Moses to go down, and Moses did. Moses rushed down this mountain, and he destroyed the statue of the golden cow. And can you guys guess what Moses did after this? Moses went back up the mountain for another 40 days. He was up in that mountain for another 40 days because he was asking God to forgive the Israelites for what they were doing. But God said no. God said they had to be punished for their sin. Boys and girls, do we worship God or do we worship a statue of a golden cow? God. When we come to church, do we learn about God or do we learn about a statue of a golden cow? God. Boys and girls, the Israelites committed a very bad sin called idolatry. You see, idolatry is when you put anything like a golden cow or anyone in the place of God. The Israelites put the golden cow in the place of God. The Israelites worshiped the golden cow instead of God. The Israelites committed idolatry. But, boys and girls, I want to remind you guys that we are made only to worship God. We are made only to worship God, nothing else and no one else, only God. And that is what I wanted to remind you guys of today, that we are made only to worship God. So let's put our hands together and let's close our eyes. God, thank you so much for bringing me and my friends to Sunday service. I was so happy to see them and I had such a fun time. God, we learned about the story of Moses and the Israelites and how the Israelites worshipped a statue of a golden cow 
and how this is called idolatry. God, we want to ask you to help us to never commit idolatry. Help us to never worship nothing and no one else but you, God. We are only made to worship you. We love you, God. Nothing else and no one else. You are our only God. We are made to worship you only. So God, would you give us strength and would you help us to never commit idolatry, to worship nothing and no one else but you, God. So God, we love you, we worship you, and we thank you. We pray this on Jesus' name and everybody says, Amen. Amen, boys and girls. I am so happy that each and every single one of you guys came. Remember, the big word for today that we learned was idolatry. And that is when we worship anything or anyone else instead of God. But remember, we are only made to worship God. We are made only to worship God and nothing and no one else. So let's remember this as we go out throughout our week. All right, boys and girls. I'll see you guys next week, okay? Bye!